Hi guys, hi everyone. Machine Master 79 is there. And today I made again a video about Komatsu D575A. I don't know, two years ago when I started, I think that was first of my video. And I really like it. Thumbs up, subscribe my channel, and thanks who already subscribed. It. Thanks, and see you later. Push hard. Imagine a bulldozer so massive that it resembles a moving mountain more than a machine. This is the Komatsu D575A, the biggest bulldozer in the world. Today, we'll dive into the story of this monster. When Komatsu first unveiled the D575A, they quickly realized something awkward. It was too big for Japan itself. The machine couldn't be used on most construction sites or mines in its home country. They were too small. So, Komatsu shifted its focus to export markets like the United States and Australia, where open-pit mining was large enough to handle a beast of this size. The world's biggest dozer. Built for everyone except the country that made it. How it was built, what makes it so powerful, and why it has become a true legend in heavy machinery. When people think of bulldozers, they usually imagine Caterpillar D11s or maybe Komatsu's D475. But in the late 1980s, Komatsu engineers decided to do something no one had done before, create a bulldozer so massive, so powerful, that it could move mountains of earth faster than anything else. And so, the D575A was born. The creation. The prototype was introduced in 1989, known as the D575A2 Superdozer. Komatsu designed it mainly for mining operations in places where gigantic amounts of earth had to be moved daily. This was not a machine for small jobs or construction sites. It was designed to work in coal mines, iron mines, and massive earth-moving projects. The idea was simple. If one massive dozer could do the job of two smaller ones, the cost of operation would be lower and productivity would skyrocket. The size and power. Let's talk about the numbers, because that's what makes the D575A so incredible. Length, over 38 feet. Width with blade, more than 24 feet. Height, almost 16 feet. Weight, around 150 tons. Just think about it. That's like putting more than 100 small cars together into one machine. And the heart of the beast, a 12-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine producing around 1,150 horsepower. That's nearly twice as much power as a Caterpillar D11. The blade alone is mind-blowing. The Super Dozer blade can push up to 90 cubic yards of material in a single pass. That's about 130 tons of earth moved at once. Work in the field. The D575A wasn't just big on paper, it was built to work. In massive coal mines in the United States and Australia, it proved its worth. Operators described the feeling as driving a small building across the ground. When this machine pushes, nothing can stop it. Trees, rocks, or hills disappear in front of the blade. However, because of its size, the D575A had a problem. It was difficult and expensive to transport. You couldn't just load it on a trailer and drive it to the next job. Often, it had to be disassembled and shipped in parts, which limited where it could be used. Challenges Despite its raw power, the D575A never became a common sight. Why? Because not every mining company needed something so massive. Many found that slightly smaller machines, like the Komatsu D475A, or the Caterpillar D11, were easier to operate, transport, and maintain. Also, the cost was enormous, not just buying the machine, but fueling it. That giant 1,150 horsepower engine could burn through fuel at a rate comparable to that of a jet plane. So the D575A remained a rare beast, only seen in special locations around the world. The legacy still, the D-575A made history. 
It showed what was possible when engineers pushed the limits of size and power. Even today, people talk about it as the king of bulldozers. Videos of it working continue to amaze fans of heavy machinery. And though production has stopped, many believe the D575A inspired the design of modern superdozers and mining equipment. It proved that sometimes, bigger really is better. Ending. So next time you see a bulldozer at work, remember this. There was once a machine so powerful, so gigantic, that it could move mountains. The Komatsu D575A. Not just a bulldozer, but a legend. <laughs>